Terry Schmidt, bringing you more practical tips to overcome the most common strategic planning mistakes. For over three decades, I've helped business and government clients in 36 countries around the world get outstanding results through better strategic planning and execution. Today's topic is going through the motions. Have you ever been part of a strategic planning process where it seemed like people were simply going through a ritual and not committed to either the process or the results? This sometimes happens, especially in larger companies and government agencies, where the planning process takes on a life of its own. This is like sitting through an overly long and boring sermon. No one really wants to be there, but you don't know how to diplomatically escape. Going through the motions is a symptom that your planning process isn't bringing value. Here are some typical reasons why. One, the plans are too vague, too abstract, too highfalutin and not meaningful. Two, they're too long-term, five or, year, or more years in the future, and thus not actionable. Three, they don't mesh with the annual operating plans and budgets, and there's no linkage between the two. Four, there's no real sense of ownership. Nobody believes in it or wants it. Five, the organization has evolved and outgrowing what was once a valuable process. So, the question is, how do you breathe new life into a feeble process? Here are three unconventional steps I recently guided a client through. Start by pulling together a small group of caring people who are creative and willing to have fun exploring the following three points. Number one, wave the magic wand for the future. If we could wave a magic wand and our wishes were guaranteed, what would we want to do and be in the future? This is really a sneaky way of identifying a fresh, compelling vision, of shaking up conventional thinking and breaking out of the prison of stale ideas. For my client, they felt trapped by the words in their vision and mission statement, which had just become words on the wall. Then, with this clear vision, reverse engineer the steps to get there. If we were to achieve this magic wand vision, how would we have done it? Work backwards from the future vision towards the present, then identify some of the decisions, initiatives, and projects that would lead you there. My client team got very excited as they sketched out a causal sequence of action steps and results that would lead them to this vision. And for the first time, they had a rough strategy map. Finally, describe the ideal planning process to identify and implement these steps. This will generate some insights about the issues to address and the type of planning you need. Who would have to have come together, when and how, to actually identify and implement these action steps? This will give you a first cut towards an optimum planning process that you can refine. Remember, if you're just going through the motions because your planning system is a Godzilla mo monster that demands to be fed, I suggest you replace that monster with a friendlier planning animal, one that loves you as well as you loving it. If you enjoyed these practical tips, check out others at our website, managementpro.com, or send me an email, terry at managementpro.com. And remember to think big, plan smart, and act fast to get great results.